Okay, now we are gonna do a projectile motion demonstration. So I have this marble launcher, and it has uh, five different notches that I could use that give the ball an initial velocity. I'm gonna use the strongest notch, the fifth notch. So I'm gonna put my marble, here is the marble, inside over here, and I'm gonna press this in. And first of all, I wanna see where the ball goes when, when the angle is zero. So I'm gonna shoot this. Right. Landed about the middle of that brick here. So we wanna measure from here. We're gonna do a rough measurement. So from about roughly here, that's about two meters to here. And then we move the, we slide the ruler over. That is two meters. And we have 230, 240, 250. And 2.5 2 meters gets us to where the ball began. So the range of the ball, the distance that it traveled in the horizontal direction is 2.5 meters. Now the height of the ball, we measure the distance from the ground to the table. That's, um, 76 centimeters. Then we measure the distance from the table to the ball, where the ball is, that's 24. So the height of the bottom of the ball from the ground is one meter. 24 plus 76 is one meter. Okay, so from that information, we could draw this picture. The ball was launched at an angle of zero degrees. Its initial height was one meter, and it landed 2.5 meters on the ground. From there, we can figure out what its initial velocity was. This one was 2.5. The initial angle was zero. Cosine of zero is one. The final height is zero. The initial height is one. Sine of zero is zero, so this part disappears. Then I'm left with 4.9t squared. That means from here, I can figure out that it should be in the air for that long. It should hit the ground in that much time. So one divided by 4.9, and square root of that, this gives you 0.45175 seconds. Then I take that and I put it into this equation. Then that tells me the initial velocity of the of the ball. was 5.534 meters per second. So now this one, so far what we learned from here is if you want to know the velocity of something, just throw it at a zero degree angle. The equations of projectile motion get pretty simplified and you can just calculate the time that it takes by just knowing the height. Then once you know the time, you can calculate what the in initial velocity was. But now the other interesting part of this is we can ask this question. If we take the same projectile and aim it at a certain degree, at a certain angle, with the same initial velocity of 5.534, and now let's say we aim it at And then I want to have a certain basket here. It's going to go something like this. So if I know the height of the, the basket, if I know the, the range, what angle do I need? So you could apply this to many kinds of ballistics situations, people shooting uh, some kind of uh, uh, ballistic pendulum, some kind of, it could be for warfare, it could be for sports, it could be a baseball hitter trying to hit a home run, 
It could be a basketball player trying to make a shot. If the basketball player knows what their velocity is and what the height of the basket is, what angle do they need to make a basket, a shot? Okay, so now we're going to use the same equations, but I need to first set up my basket. So I'm going to use this trash bin. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to place my projectile somewhere here. Let's say I want to make a three-pointer. So I'll make it a little farther. Three-point shot here. Okay. So I'm going to measure the distance from my ball. Okay. The distance from the front of the basket here. The distance from the front of the basket to my ball will be 1.5 meters. And then I'm going to measure the distance from the center of the basket. So let's say that's 15 centimeters, 1.5 and 15, so that's 1.65 meters. So I need to go now uh, 1.65 meters this way, but I need to go up. So I need to measure the distance from the ground to the table, which is uh, from the ground to the table, that's going to be 90 92 centimeters plus the 50 centimeters. So 92 plus 50, that's about 142. So the distance to the, the basket I need to clear the height is a 1.42 meters. So I need to clear a 1.42 meter uh, basket and I need to be this far away. So this is kind of like a basketball situation because if you're a shooter, the basket is going to be a 10-foot rim, so it's going to be a little higher than your jumping hand. So you need to angle it here, and, you, and you're going to have to have it, give it some distance. So what angle do I need? So I put it, the equations here, x equals, the x is uh, 1.65. My initial velocity is 5.534. So you can't really solve for t from here, but you could state that T is 1.65 over 5.534 cosine theta. Then the Y final is going to be equal to 1.42. The Y initial, well, that depends. Uh, if it's in a basketball situation, you might be jumping. But in this case, the when I make it a certain angle, since it's pivoted about the front part of the projectile, the, the height is not changing considerably. So the initial height is staying more or less one meter. So my y initial is still one meter. And now I have a certain uh, general angle here. So I have uh, v initial is 5.534 sine theta t minus 4.9 t squared. Now I'm going to take the t that I got from the x equation and then substitute it into this t because I'm not interested in the t as much. So I'm going to have, I'm going to subtract one meter from here, 0.42 sine of theta, and then it's parentheses 4.9 and then I have 1.65 over 1.5.534 over uh, cosine of the angle. So now I need to do some algebraic manipulation here to make this look a little better. This one is going to cancel with this. Sine over cosine is going to be tangent. Then I have uh, this thing, I have to square it because the t is squared. So I have to calculate what this uh, is, 